Hello everyone, we are back working on the Kadu this morning. We are tackling the transmission finally. It is called a Borg Warner T20 and it's kind of like this transmission from a skid steer. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, this is what I'm dealing with here. Literally a bucket full of poop. Well, a bucket of with poop in it at least. This is... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is a turd from some sort of wild animal, or maybe a cat. I don't know, but you know, I'm dumping out this bucket of bolts and parts and stuff, and these are the brake calipers. Um, you know, some of the stuff I don't even know what it goes to yet, but mixed in with it is literally poop. So, just wanted to show you guys that. Appreciate this uh, puzzle that I am uh, working on here. So I'm going to finish sorting all these bolts out and then we'll start getting the pieces from the actual transmission up here and lay those out. Alright, this is how I got this transmission. Um, everything else on the Kadu was together but this stuff was all taken apart and in a bin. So it's basically a big puzzle for me. Alright, here we go. So here's the parts. We got a new shift collar. By the way, this stuff is from... 6x6parts.com uh, They happen to have a used collar in stock and you can see here our old one is looking pretty bad if you look under here it's looking bad this whole spot here is kind of raised up it's not good so uh, we got another one from 6x6parts.com okay hang on to this of course this can probably be fixed you know with some with some welding and some machining so might get that might fix that at some point uh, let's see we got some new buttons for our torque converter I'm hoping that these are the right ones because look if you look here this is the torque converter driver and these are the buttons here and they're pretty much done there's nothing left really so uh, hopefully we can do something with this, make it better. But that's kind of a separate build. We'll, we'll, we'll address that separately. Same thing, 6x6parts.com. This is pretty much the rebuild kit right here. There's seals, O-rings. There's these little, um, thrust washers. That's what they are. Thrust washers, um, in here. There's some right here. These are the big ones, but... So all the parts, all the seals and stuff for this in this bag. And then also it came with this right here. And all only gaskets the things got is these two right here, which is just the case halves. So that's pretty much it. So we have to disassemble these even further to get to the seals um, to replace them. But shouldn't be a huge deal. Good morning everybody, we have the Caduce transmission here. This has all been cleaned up. I spent last night cleaning all these parts. Got the cases scrubbed real nice. They're totally empty. So everything is laid out. I had to go hunt down these big old snap rings. Whatever. So I had to go hunt down these snap rings this morning. These are what go on the output shaft here and they hold the brake rotor on. 
So, and then we also have, we're missing one that goes on this shaft. See, there's one right here. And then this one is missing here and there's nothing over here in my parts. So, um, you know, it's little stuff like that that kind of, it's kind of giving me problems, but um, we are going to start putting this thing back together. Uh, one more seal I need to replace. This one right here, I got to pop this guy out, slam a new one in there. We got all these seals to do. Um, oh, geez, this has an E clip in it. I wonder if that's the right size for the shaft there. Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna start the assembly process of this. So I'm gonna set you guys up. You're gonna get the time lapse. And I'm gonna go through and put this thing together. here it is t20 rebuilt i had to take it apart i think like five times to finally get it right um this is a really really early one and it doesn't really have the clearances in it for some of the some of these uh washers and some of the videos i watched and research i did said the same thing so we got this back together everything turns nice shifts um but we are on to this driver i got the keyway for that i had to cut that down to fit in there and this fits on there perfectly now yeah this thing could fly apart in any minute now because i got the key out of it so that goes on there like that bam that's what turns the transmission okay and then these guys right here shifted into gear so that shifts it into gear and then it turns it that's neutral and then the other way would be forward or reverse one of the ways one of those ways see there we go so that's the shifter forward and reverse basically this is what drives the transmission sprockets that come out and drive the rest of it so but this guy, I already got the snap ring off of here. We got to take this thing apart um, because these little buttons right here are crappy and it's rusty and it's nasty and we're going to clean it up. buttons that we're trying to replace and oh man there it is like I was saying before I don't even know if we have the right ones so but we got some buttons let's see if they, they certainly fit in there now nah, those aren't right
we're going to have to really work on that and get that to fit better. We got our keyway, we got our shaft. We need to clean this shaft up and this will hopefully come off here a lot easier. So let's do that real quick. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that came right off. That's what we wanted. We gotta clean all this up. Let's clean this up too. Same with this, clean this up. Clean the whole thing up. Uh, but our big problem is gonna be these buttons. This is why I took this thing off in the first place. Uh, you can see, you can see there's a hole right there, and the button goes in there. I knew these weren't the right ones when I bought it, but they're the ones for the Argo or something. But uh, so they go in there, and they provide a surface for this to slide on. These are definitely not even close to the right ones. So I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. The other two are busted off. Here we go. Um, I guess that's my next big dilemma now, huh? So I got to figure out how to identify this torque converter real fast here because I need parts to fix it. Why does it look like that's been ground down on something? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some research. See if I can figure out what torque converter this is. See if I can get new buttons for torque converter. Uh, I showed you guys yesterday that the buttons on this are all worn out. And I tried to find buttons, but I couldn't find them. I'm still looking. But I did find another one of these on eBay that has good buttons in it. So we got that coming. That should be here in a few days. And then we can put our torque converter driver back together, or driven pulley back together. And that goes on this side over here. Yeah, side. All right, guys, we're going to call it for this episode. If you want to see this thing running and driving, you're probably going to see it on the next episode that we do the Kadoo, uh, which may be the next episode coming out or it could be you know an episode or two away. But uh, we are going to get this thing finished. We're going to have it running and driving. Um, but in the meantime, hit that like button if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.